Good afternoon and welcome to another episode of Everyday Recovery. My name is Jim Lang. I'm the Senior Vice President and Director of Men's Addiction Recovery here at America's Keswick. And each week we just want to bring you a devotion that gives you a glimpse into some of the curriculum and some of the topics that we cover here at the Colony of Mercy at Barbara's Place. And so uh, this week at the Colony we've been talking about identity and, and who we are in, in Christ. If I were to ask you who are you, uh, how would you respond? Uh, a lot of us would respond with what we do for a living, or I'm a, I'm a son, I'm a husband, I'm a brother, uh, and, and all those things are true, but uh, what we all do is we, we live out of our identity, and so our, our behaviors and our actions and our thoughts are, are rooted and fueled in by who we think we are, and so this is the, the core of, of who we are. And I know for me, when I, when I showed up at the Colony of Mercy, back in May of 2013, I showed up and I had no idea who I was. I had no idea what my identity was. Uh, I had lived out a, a number of different identities and uh, most typically we, we tend to uh, grab our identity from our family of origin and so uh, a lot of our, our identities tied up in our families. Uh, sometimes we, we uh, glean our identity from our occupation. And uh, that was definitely for me. I found a lot of my worth, a lot of my value in what I did for a living. And then unfortunately, when we, when we fall into deep sin, when we fall into life-dominating sin, uh, we can find our identity in that sin. And so I, I was an alcoholic, I was, a, I was an addict, and, and so I operated uh, with that mindset, with that belief. Well, the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ is that we are given a brand new identity. If any man be in Christ, he is a, a new creation. And so God is the one who defines us. And so I love this passage in, in Ephesians 2 because I think it just really lays out for us just the beauty uh, of the identity that God gives us. And, and we need to believe that identity. We need to believe God and what he says about us when we come to faith in him. And so in, in Ephesians 2... Uh, starting in verse 1, uh, Paul sa starts out by saying, And you were dead in your trespasses and sin. We were dead in our trespasses and sin. Uh, we weren't just struggling. We weren't just uh, not getting by. We were dead in our trespasses and sins in which you previously lived according to the ways of this world, according to the ruler of the power of the air, the spirit now working in the disobedient. We too all previously lived among them in our fleshly desires, carrying out the inclinations of our flesh and thoughts, and were by nature children under wrath, as the others were also. So Paul starts out, starts out by saying here what we were, uh, what we used to be. He lets us know that we are dead in our trespasses, that we, that we followed uh, our, our desires, our fleshly desires, and we were just obedient to our fleshly desires desires, uh, that we, we, we are carrying out the inclinations of our flesh and thoughts. And he says, we were by nature children of wrath. And so there really are only two options here for you. You can be a child of wrath or you can be a child of God. Those are the only two options. And we, we were children of wrath. We were sitting under God's judgment. Uh, we, we had no uh, connection with God. Our sin had separated us from him. And so Paul is laying out uh, what we used to be. Uh, and then verse 4 says, But God, who is rich in mercy, because of his great love that he had for us. And this is such a huge sentence here because our identity is not founded on what I bring to the table. It's not founded on the things that, that I do or the things that I can accomplish. Our identity is founded on a God who is rich in mercy. He's abundant in mercy. It's not, he's not stingy with his mercy. He is rich in mercy and he is so ready to pour out that mercy on his people. And it says, because of his great love that he had for us. Again, it's not anything that you or I did uh, to deserve anything. It's because of his great love that he had for us. And this is where our identity in Christ is rooted. It's always rooted in what has been done for me, not what I do. And so when we're wrestling with identity, when we're trying to, to understand our identity in Christ, it always has to begin with because of God, a God who is rich in mercy and because of his love 
for me. That is where my identity starts. And it says he made us alive with Christ even though we are dead in our trespasses. And so our identity now is not, we are not dead in our trespasses. We are now made alive. We are spiritually alive. You are saved by grace. He also raised us up with him and seated us with him in the heavens in Christ Jesus, so that in the coming ages he might display the immeasurable riches of his grace through his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. And so we are seated with him in the heavenly places. This is what's most true about us. I stand here today at America's Keswick at 601 Route 530 in Whiting, New Jersey. But what's most true about me is that I am seated with Christ in the heavenly places. Uh, it is a reality that, it, that is mine that has been given to me by a God who is rich in mercy and a God who loves me. Verse 8, for you are saved by grace through faith, not from works, so that no one can boast. And, we, and verse 10 says, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. I love verse 10. It says, we are his workmanship. We are his poetry. We are his masterpiece. God is this grand artist, and we are his poem. We are his masterpiece. We, God, God is a God who delights in his people. We, we, don't, we don't have a God who looks at us and looks at our mess and, and crosses his arms and shakes his head at us. No, we have a God who, who considers us his, his workmanship, his, his masterpiece, his, his poetry. And then our identity as his masterpiece, our identity as his beloved son or daughter uh, comes uh, with a purpose. We are, we, are giving a, we are given a purpose in this identity. And, and, it, and you see that here again in verse 10, that, that we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared ahead of time for us to do. And this is just so encouraging because as you sit there, uh, I can say with full confidence that God has a plan for your life. He has a purpose for your life. If you are are in Christ, if you are one of his children, if you are one of his masterpieces, if you are one of his amazing poems, he has planned good works for you uh, that he wants you to walk out in your identity. And so our, our identity as sons and daughters of the Most High King uh, gives us value, it gives us worth, and it gives us purpose. And, and God wants us to live out of this identity because it's what's most true about us. And when we actually live out of that, that identity, we walk in freedom. I hope you've enjoyed this devotion. Uh, we hope to see you next week. If anyone you know is struggling with addiction, please give us a call, 732-350-1187 on extension 1041. I'd love to speak with you. Have a great day.